What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we are getting outside of the office and we are going out into the garage and we are going to try and finally get this transmission out of the BMW. Fingers crossed that this works. <laughs> Down here underneath the BMW, there's a few things that I need to do before we can take off the trans. One of them being I need to get this line off. Like with anything else on this vehicle, I assume that's going to be extremely difficult. And I may not even be able to do it. But, you know what? We're still going to give it the good old college try. I uh, need to get in here and get some of these bolts off here to be able to take the transmission out. I have already attempted one and it did not go so well. So, not really sure what we're going to do here if this thing doesn't want to play ball. But we're going to try the best that we can because uh, right now we're having issues getting this thing in and out of gear. And this is the main reason why Drew was going to get rid of the thing in the first place. So, this is the one thing that we had to fix. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this line off here and then work on releasing these bolts from the transmission. We'll take in a bunch of extensions here and uh, put them on the end of a wrench. I was able to get up in here to where I can't get the camera. Okay, you can kind of see it there. We're sitting in an angle, but whatever. That's where the uh, master cylinder went that controls, I don't know, something. I would assume the clutch, something or other. But I was able to get to those 13 millimeter bolts and I uh, got this thing here hanging right now out of the way. So hopefully that clears up a little bit of space and we can get up in there to that other bolt that is way up in there where I also cannot get the camera. But trust me, there's a bolt here and uh, we need to get to it. Oh, there, there it is. There it is, that one right there. Not the closest one, the farthest one. We need to get that one out. So in typical fashion with this car, nothing is going the way that I thought it would. So I'm out from underneath the car, grab myself an A&W, and I'm watching the daily drift here on the TV uh, to figure out what I'm doing wrong and how to get this damn thing off. So hopefully this guy's got some answers because clearly I do not. So watching that video did help because I realized that it, it looks like I was trying to get loose some of the wrong bolts. Yeah, this one here is definitely a different size. It goes all the way through which I can't tell if this one does or not. Ugh. God, I really hate this car. So bad. Um, all right, well, let's start loosening these and see where that gets us. Ah! All right. Well, it's already working out far better than anything else I've tried, so. One down. I'm not exactly sure how many left to go. Okay, another development. Besides the fact that that one out there won't come down, we also need to get these little ones here off. Now, in the video that I saw, it said that those are supposed to be 10 millimeter inverted torques. However, when using a 10 millimeter inverted Torx, the ones that I have here are too flippin' small. So once again, it seems like there is a mixture of bolts here that aren't originally supposed to be on here. That, or perhaps they were different from model to model, but uh, I'm willing to guess that uh, somebody has changed these at some point in time, and this sucks. Okay, you know what? My goal was to get this thing out, and I'm starting to think more and more as time passes, that ain't gonna happen. So the transmission really wasn't dropping at the angle that I thought it would, and then I realized it's braced right here, and that's what's stopping it from lowering more. So, doing some more YouTube searching, there's this clip right here. This folds down and locks this pin in place. It's a real bitch to get off. I used this little tiny screwdriver, pried up underneath there and was able to wiggle it free. In the video that I saw, it said to use a small screwdriver and a big screwdriver. I was able to get it done with just this one. So, you take that and then you pull this pin out and that should release this from that. And that really didn't really seem to lower it at all. Okay, so, well, you know what? You know what? At least that's off, you know? It had to come off anyway. Um, well, shit. I need to get this sound deadening out of here as well because this isn't doing anybody any services except for getting in the way and I feel like all of it is falling into my mouth. So, I'm gonna work on that next. We're still trying to get this off. Still need to find some more 
Um, inverted Torx bits. I saw some at AutoZone. I don't feel like spending $39 to get a set of them when I only need one. And I don't use them on any other vehicle that I work on. But we'll see. Trying to get the sound editing out. And uh, I gotta say, this stuff, uh, it sucks. Somehow it finds a way to get in your eyes. And um, even with these things on, even with these things on, it finds a way. This thing is basically falling apart as is. It's just kind of all crumbling. Um, you grab onto it, you can kind of see all the little flakes that end up in my eyes falling down. But it's not weak enough that uh, it will come out the way I need it to right now. So back to tugging by myself. Is there part of it under, underneath here? Is that it? It's... My fingers are in the way. Um... <laughs> oh my God. That cannot be healthy. Oh God. <laughs> she out though, kind of. Almost. Oh God. That's nothing but powdered cancer right there. How is this cloth still in here? Oh yeah. Every bit of that's still in the way. Oh God, I'm breathing in so much of this. All right, well there's part of it. Still got some more to go. Since the impact doesn't seem to be really doing much of anything, I went ahead and I grabbed the breaker bar and put it on all my extensions to try and break loose the bolts there remaining on the transmission. And then this happened. Yep. That is snapped off within another extension. And I did this by hand. I thought when it started to move that I was actually breaking it free. All I was doing was breaking my wrench. So I'm gonna crawl underneath, cover all of these things with PB Blaster and uh, just wait. The can always says, soak it liberally. And then whatever you think it's gonna need, put some more on there. So this thing is gonna be pretty well soaked. And uh, I'm gonna have a nice little spot here. But thankfully I threw down the cardboard and we all have all the asbestos that's been laying here. You can be able to collect it. So that is where we are gonna call it for today. I was hoping to get the transmission out for you guys and have a fully completed video. But as you can see, this is pretty much the way it works when working on this BMW. I'm not gonna lie though, it kinda worked that way sometimes when working on the Mustang as well. We got in all of our parts for version two of the S550 RTR Spec 2 Mustang. So we're gonna have an update on that soon. I'm really looking forward to getting that thing completed and then we can move on to version three, which is gonna be a little bit of a thick girl. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're new. You're not gonna wanna miss any of our episodes that we upload. We upload twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. We do fun projects like we are here with the BMW as well as just garage projects in general here at GSSG. Make sure to go ahead and hit the thumbs up so we know that you like the content that we're putting out and how could you not. I'm involved, other people are occasionally involved. Every now and then we get shit done, but not too often. So you don't feel like you yourself aren't accomplishing things in life. We're doing it for the average folk. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.